hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by in today's video i am super excited you guys because today is a different one and today is a big one today i am going to be doing as you saw from the thumbnail a bathroom renovation and it is a quite it's quite a small bathroom uh small veneration and i really love how it looks you guys and i absolutely love how it turned out and i just cannot wait to share so let's just jump right in you guys this bathroom is long overdue for a makeover and i have been wanting to do a makeover in this bathroom for a while now now as you can see the walls are gray and those were recently painted gray i don't mind the color of the walls and i don't mind the tile but everything else is just so outdated and especially the floors the floors are really bad and the story about the floors is something had spilled on them and it just wasn't coming up and it sort of messed up well not sort of as you can see it messed up the ceramic tile and it just looks really bad and it just needs an overall upgrade so this is the side wall here and i do have some of my diys there and i'm not sure if i'm going to keep them there i might not i might switch some stuff around but yeah, I'm just going to do a little small bathroom makeover. We are going to change out the faucet. We're going to do the sink. We're going to do the cabinets, the floors. And another quick story about the little images, fishes in the sink bowl is because me and my daughter was trying to do something that I saw on TikTok and it just did not work out. Is where you draw the little fishes on there with a marker and then it's supposed to swim and like float up when you put water in it and it just did not work and now that is what we were left with so that needs to get fixed as well and so now as you can see i am starting off by sanding down this entire sink and you want to really really sand it down um literally until your arms feel like they're gonna fall off because you just want to make sure that every piece of dirt and you know all of that stuff is off and it's really nice and smooth for when we paint this now the option that i'm going for is spray painting it i did do research and i did check out other people's um reviews uh on how they did it and it's surprisingly it turned out really good and it looks good so that is why i just decided to go with that option now i covered up every single thing around because we do not want to get any spray paint on you know um any other surface and you can see i have a dollar tree bag there um i just have uh random stuff just to kind of cover up the cabinets the side where the shower is and then um of course around the little uh bars where you put the soap and toothbrushes and stuff like that and now once everything is nice and prepped i am just going to take the spray paint i'm using the color white in a gloss finish and i will leave, leave everything linked down that i use in the description box below just in case you want to pick up anything that i am using in today's video make sure you go and check that out because i am going to leave a link to everything and you know make it easier for you guys so as you can see i am just spray painting now and you do want to open up the windows, the doors open and everything because of all of the fumes. Now, it kind of sucks in this bathroom because it, there's only one window. But I do have it all the way open and I even have a fan facing inside of the door. So that way I don't suffocate in here. And I am also wearing a mask. So now this is how it looks once everything is nice and spray painted. And I am loving how it is looking nice and clean now i'm gonna go in with this clear um ultra cover by rustoleum because this protects and you know it just gonna protect the paint that's we just laid down so i am gonna spray this on top and if you want you can spray it i mean honestly however many times about two layers so that way it can be nice and protected so we'll do that and then while that is drying i am going to work on the cabinets now 
and I did start removing the handles because I'm just going to remove them and spray paint them in gold. And as I said, I will leave the links to everything that I use. So I will have the exact same gold one that I used down in the description below. So now working on the cabinets, I am going to sand it down, of course. And again, just keep sanding and sanding and sanding until everything is nice and smooth. And this is the paint that I am going to be using for the cabinets. And it's going to be black in a flat finish. And I chose black because I love the color black and I just wanted it to stand out and make the bathroom, you know, just stand out overall. So I got that and then I got this roller set to make things easier. And as you can see, I just uh, took off one of the handles already. But um, this is the roller set that I got from Lowe's. Um, but I don't recommend this roller set because it really wasn't good it kept falling off the roller and it it was just a pain to work with so this is what i'm going to be using to sand it down and i am just going to start sanding and sanding getting every little nook and cranny really well so that way when we lay our paint down it goes on nice and smooth and you know you never know what may have dripped onto the cabinets over the years of using so you just want to sand that down and then once you are done sanding the cabinet down you can start painting and i did start as i said using the roller but i really didn't like it so i just switched over to a paintbrush and i just started painting the entire cabinet This is how the cabinet looks now you guys and I am absolutely loving that black color. I think it looks really good and for this cabinet and I am just letting it dry now. I did give the cabinet three coats just to make sure it's really nicely painted and this is how it turned out and I really am loving it so far and so now I'm going to show you guys the faucet that I got for the sink. And I absolutely love this faucet. It's really beautiful and I got it off of Amazon. So I'm just going to unbox it here for you. This is where it comes in and you have the little uh, manual right here. It is the waterfall faucet and it's in gold. I really love it because it has a nice sleek look to it. A nice high-end look to it as well. And I love the overall look when I put it on the sink. And this is the stuff that it comes with that uh, that stuff is to screw it in in the bottom of the cabinet. And here is the drain pipe and then the, um, the faucet. I will take it out right now. And here is what the faucet looks like. And it is really pretty and I really love it. And then it also has a little cap here that finishes off the entire faucet that sits below the actual 
uh, faucet itself so I really love it and I can't wait to put it on let's get started on the floors you guys I have these tiles that I got from Amazon they are by floor pops and I really love them you guys they are really good quality nice and sturdy they are peel and stick and this is the design that I opted in for and they have a ton to choose from literally so much but I will have these linked below of course so I am just going to start off simply by placing them down and of course you do need to clean your floors really well I just like to clean my floors um, I sweep and then I mop and I also just go around with a rag just going into any corners and stuff like that and cleaning it really well before I lay them down now I am just going to start over, he over here in the corner and I am going to place down the full squares first. So I am just placing this one down. This is behind the door when you come into the bathroom. So we'll start off with the full squares first. And you can see here that I started off by placing them um, on the actual frame of the square and uh, leaving that, that little gap of the grout. But I decided to just cover up, cover that up and just Put it right next to the other tiles like next to each other instead of having the grout showing because we do not want to re-grout and so I just decided to change it so I just easily just popped it off and placed it back down but I really love that I did that because I do not want to regrow as I said and I don't want any gaps in between the tiles and then I am just going to keep doing that for all around the floor continuing with the full squares first and then we can start working on the ones that we need to cut so now you can see exactly what I was talking about as you can see I am putting them um, as you would normally if you didn't have ceramic tiles just placing them together and you don't see the grout there and I think it's just way better if um you do not want to regrout but obviously if you do if you didn't mind regrouting then you would just place them on the actual square and then just um do as you need to do for the grout so now to cut the part the ones that need to be cut and all the little intricate cuts that we need to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a piece of newspaper here and uh, make it about the same size of the tile and then we're going to place it right into the piece that we need to trim and we're just going to crease it around where we need to cut so as you can see I'm just placing the paper right down into place and then I'm just going to crease it right around the toilet edge because that's where it needs to be cut and that way now we can see where we need to cut the paper and we'll cut the paper and then place it onto the tile and then cut the tile in that specific cut. And I think that this is a really great um, way of making these cuts. You just need some extra paper or if you have small, depending on what tiles you have, you can use um, printer paper as well. And that little knife or blade there that I had, I did get that from Dollar Tree and they work really well. They're super sharp. So I do like to pick them up from there. And now as you can see exactly what I'm doing now, I am just making that crease for a round that I need for the tile. And then I'm just going to place it onto the tile and just simply make that cut. And then we can just stick that right down and it fits perfectly. And that's all you need to do for every single um, little detail that you need to cut out. These tiles are super pretty, you guys, and I am really loving how they're turning out. It gave the bathroom such a new look and really made it look better overall. The floors just pop and I love it. And I am loving how the makeover is turning out so far. I am super excited. And you guys, if you are enjoying this video so far, stop right now and give it a big like, smash that like button, and do consider hitting that subscribe button. 
if you are enjoying my content i would love to have you be a part of my family i am trying to push out better content for you guys and more stuff of what i want to do on home renovations and stuff like that more stuff than just dollar tree diys and i hope you guys like that and i hope you guys will stick around for many more home renovations to come once the floors are done i am going to go in with this caulk strip that you can get off of amazon this is really good just to seal up all of the edges and just to make it look cleaner and nicer and so i'm just going to stick that down right along the edge of the bathtub and i love how it looks afterwards it just makes it look really nice and better and cleaner and just makes it look even brighter as well one of the last things that i am going to do is i am going to paint the frame of this window i was debating for a little bit if i wanted to keep it in the brown color because it didn't look bad and you know with the brownish and blackish tones that i want like the neutral look in here i thought it didn't look bad in brown but i also thought that if i painted it black that it would really look um nice with the sink and make the overall sink just pop out and look better so i am just going to give that a nice coat of the same black paint You guys, over here on the wall, I added two screw-in hooks because I do want to add some hanging plants just to create a little mini plant wall here. I really love that for this area. I think it would look really cute. And I will keep you updated on how that looks over on my Instagram, so do be sure to check me out.
you guys thank you so so much for watching today's video if you like today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and do consider hitting that subscribe button because i would love for you to be a part of my youtube family and you guys if you love today's video do let me know in the comments and if you would love to see more videos like this in the future let me know in the comments as well i am going to be switching some things on my channel as i did mention before and starting to do more bigger projects for you guys and if that's something that you are interested in let me know and yeah you guys so i will see you all on the next one take care god bless bye